and get this going. Hi everybody, welcome to 45 Minute Strength Flow. You're not gonna need any equipment today unless you want to use weights. Um, I'm gonna use body weight today, but again, feel free to add any weight that you want to. I suggest a light weight, probably two to five. Five is kind of heavy, two to five pounds though, if you wanna do that. Um, cool. All right, we're gonna start on the mat. I'm gonna drink one last sip of coffee before diving in. Perfect. Ah, all right. Find yourself in a nice, comfortable seated position on the mat. Close your eyes. Start to feel connected to your body. Start to pay attention to how it's feeling right now, where you might be holding some tension. Feel heavy on the mat. Start to feel the gravitational pull toward the earth. Take a nice big inhale. Send your arms out. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, fill your lungs up. Exhale, let them go. Again, in through your nose. Exhale, release. Open up your eyes, plant your right arm down on the mat, reach your left arm over, and just create space on that left side. Release, switch it out. Right arm reaches over just to create space between your shoulder blades and your rib cage, your rib cage and your hips. Take this side to side and just use this time to wake up your body. You can go slow if that's what your body's calling for today. You can go forward and roll your neck out a little bit more, fold your body over at your waist or just stay side to side. I feel this in my hips and it feels really good to just lengthen out the sides because we don't really, we don't do that too often. We tend to stand or sit vertically so frequently and don't give the rest of our body a little bit of a, a stretch or a dynamic movement. We'll take one more each side. and come up to a seated position. Come back to center and make your way to your downward dog. So flip on over, hands come to the mat, tuck your toes and send your hips up high. Start to pedal out your feet, moving one heel and then the other toward the ground, warming up your calves and your hamstrings as you move through each leg. Come to center. Come to your tippy toes, fold on over, and meet me in your plank. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. Neck is elongated. Keep that energy out your head all the way through your heels. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hips high. Take a little pressure off your shoulders. Pedal out your feet. Come back to your tippy toes, fold back over into your plank. This time, lift your right knee in towards your chest and then your left knee. 10, 9. Bring your belly button towards your spine. So keep it nice and strong. Your hips are in line with your rib cage the whole time you're in this movement. 4, 4, 3. Last two, last one each side, send your hips high, release your core just for a moment, breathe, exhale, fold back over into your plank, come down to your forearms and hold a forearm plank from here, rock forward and back, 10, 9, 8, 7, use your heels to push you forward just a little bit. Five, four, three, two, hold this plank, drop your right knee and then your left knee. Right, 
left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one, both sides, drop your knees down to the mat, open your knees wider than your hips, send your hips back, reach forward for a child's pose, breathe, in through your nose, exhale, let it go, again, in through your nose, really create space between your shoulder blades, lengthen your back, as you reach your arms forward and send your hips back. On your next exhale, roll on up, tuck your toes and meet me back in a plank position. Feel free to lower down to your knees, lift your toes up, but keep your neck, your hips, everything in line. Take your arms out just a little bit wider than your shoulders, but keep them in line with your chest. From here, lower your chest down toward the mat, push it away, lower and push. Keep your neck long for five, four, three, two. Hold at your lowest point. One, pulse down, down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push away. Send your hips high. Keep your knees together for a puppy stretch. Reach your arms forward. So keeping your hips high off of the back of your heels reaching forward for a little bit of a different kind of stretch. Exhale, come back up, tuck your toes one more time, back into your plank position. Feel free to come back down to your knees if you wanna do your push-ups on your knees. Same position, arms out a little wider than your shoulders, but it's still in line with them. Lower your chest down, push away. 10, nine, eight, zip your belly button towards your spine, keep that, form nice and strong. Keep your head elevated and in line with your shoulders for four, three, two, lowest point, last one, hold it low, pulse down, down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push away. Puppy stretch one more time, reach your arms forward. Take the pressure off your shoulders. Keep your hips in the air, your knees together. And breathe in through your nose. On this exhale, sit back, roll on up. We're gonna get into our upper body today. So this will be the time, if you have your weights, go ahead and grab them. If not, you can stay with just your body weight. That's what I'm gonna do today. And we'll get started. All right. From here, send your arms out to a T. Actually, before we do that, give your shoulders a little shake. My shoulders are already, excuse me, already feeling it. All right, extend your arms out to a T. Palms face down. Rotate up and down. Just start out to warm up our shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rotate your palms to face the sky. Slight bend in your elbows, just a tiny little bend, kind of like you're welcoming in God. <laughs> that's a joke also, <laughs> that's okay. All right, open your elbows or bend your elbows just a little bit. From here, use your palms, use your shoulder blades to rotate your arms up to parallel in front of you all the way to the sky and then bring them back down. Pull them all the way up above you and bring them back down. Eight, seven, six. Feel free if your knees are feeling this a little bit, stand on up. You don't need to do your arms on your knees. You can do them standing or you can sit back on your heels. Whatever's in the cards for you today. If you are on your knees, keep them hip width and parallel and zip your belly button towards your spine for all for all positions. For three, two, one, flip your palms to face the front of the room. Bend at your elbows and reach all the way back up. Bend at your elbows to 90 and then push that air away as you reach all the way up for eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it halfway, pulse up and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your elbows down. Hold that 90 degree shape. Bring your palms to be parallel in front of you. From here, holding this 90 degree shape, elbows glued to the ribs to start. Rotate your arms up to parallel and then bring them back down past your rib cage. Reach them all the way up and then bring them down. Your highest point is your shoulders. Your lowest point is your rib cage. So keep that in mind with every lift for six, five, four, three, two, push up. Last one, hold it up. Lift your right arm and then your left arm. Right arm punches up, left arm punches up. You can bring your arms to a punch if that feels better. If you're holding weights and vision, you're punching that weight up just a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, bring your elbows back down, right back to the top. Down, bring them all the way up for eight, seven. Draw your elbow or draw your shoulders out of your ears. Keep them rolled back and down. So as you lift your arms up, you're not bringing your shoulders with you. We want to keep them rolled down. The only movement coming from bringing our elbows up in line. Good. For four, three, two, last one. Hold it up. Again, we're going to do punching, but we're going to extend our arm out forward and then extend the left arm out. So the right arm punches forward, the left arm punches forward. You can keep your arms or your hands flat. Whatever feels good, pinkies lead if that's the case. If you have weight, you're punching it out forward. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, come back to 90. Bring your elbows down, shake them out, reset your arms, give them a good little, little wiggle. From here, extend your arms out to your sides and bring them out a little bit more diagonally. They're not too far out, not too high, just a few inches away from your, the tops of your thighs and a few inches away from the bottoms of your rib cage. From here, bicep curls in. Eight, seven, if you don't have weight, imagine that air is thick. With every pull in, you feel your lats, which are the sides right here, right by your, your breasts underneath, underneath your, your armpits, feel that muscle contract as you bring your arms in to keep your shoulder blades down as you bring your biceps in, bringing that focus to that top muscle right there for four, three, two, last one, hold it out, tiny bend, extend, bend, extend, eight, seven, Six, five, make that bicep jump off your bone. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, shake it out. Bring your arms back to parallel, elbows glued to your rib cage at 90. From here, hold your palms parallel to each other and then open them up to the side, keeping your elbows still glued to your rib cage. Bring them back to 90 parallel, open them back up holding this 90 degree shape the whole time, focusing on that rotation, your rotator cuff here as you open your arms up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, one, hold it open, squeeze your elbows in, squeeze them in, squeeze your shoulder blades together with every squeeze in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip your palms up and just pulse up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going. Four, three, two, one.
drop your arms down, give them a good shake, reset. From here, dip your belly button in and up, reset your whole body, get your body nice and long, roll your shoulders out of your ears, belly button zipped in and up, hinge over at the hips. So creating a nice diagonal line, your gaze is forward, probably toward the top of your mat. So you keep your neck nice and long. Extend your arms out forward, parallel in front of you. Roll your elbows back, extend them long, back to that narrow row and extend them forward. Narrow row to tricep extension here. Thinking about where your core is. If you're relaxing your core, you might feel your back or your body not feel super stable or start to, start to round out. We wanna keep everything nice and long. Keeping that balance challenge and holding ourselves balanced by engaging our core. You have three, two, last one, hold it up, just lift up, up, tiny lift, tiny lift, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your arms out extended, tiny circles, tiny little circles, towards your midline, leading with your pinky. Your whole arm is circling out for six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it other direction, 10, nine, eight, seven. Lengthen your neck, keep your shoulders out of your ears, roll them back and down. For four, three, two, last exercise, tiny bend. Extend, tiny bend in your elbows, extend your arms out to really finish out this tricep burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, drop your arms down. <sighs> Come to all fours. Let's get a good stretch in for our, our arms and our shoulders before. Finishing the rest of the class, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Thread your right arm through the space between your left arm and your left knee, and reach your left arm to the top of the mat. Exhale, press back up to all fours. Switch it out, left arm reaches up. Take your gaze with your left arm, open up your chest, and now thread your left arm through the space between your right arm and your right knee. Your left arm can face the sky. That's what I mean, your palm can be rotated up toward the sky. Breathe. Exhale, come back to all fours. Open your knees wider than your hips. Send your hips back as you reach your arms forward for an activated child's pose. So reach your arms more forward than you normally would to keep this position active. Feel that energy coursing. You're really trying to keep the energy in this stretch while you create space between your shoulder blades, your rib cage, your hips, everything. Exhale one more time in through your nose. Exhale, roll on up. And let's get into standing. So however it's comfortable for you to get there, meet me in a standing position. Stand on up. All right. This mat, because I'm in the garage, <laughs> there's always like little things on it. And I, every time I do a, a stretch, I always get stuff on my face. It's fine. All right. In a standing position, we're going to warm up our legs. So bring your feet to parallel, hip width apart. We're gonna to start to pedal out our leg, just warming up our ankles, our feet. You can let your arms flow freely. We're gonna focus the rest of class on our lower body and then our core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, lower your heels down. Take your feet out a little wider than your hips. From here, send your hips back for a squat and stand on up. Eight, seven, six. Weight is in your heels, chest proud, belly button zipped closer to your spine. 
four, three, two, last one, hold it low, pulse down, down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, tiny pulse down, two, one, back to full body, stand on up. Activating our lower body here. This is just to get us warmed up. Six, five, four, knees going over your toes. Three, two, one, hold it low. This time, take two steps to the right, then two steps to the left. Holding this low squat position, I'm gonna to turn to the side to show you what it looks like. Send your hips back. Your belly button is zipped in and up. As you walk to the side, keep your shoulders out of your ears. Can you get lower? We have five, four, three, two, last one, both sides. Back to full body squats, stand it up. Five, four, three, two. This time, last one, with every raise, raise your heels. So sit back into a squat, stand up, raise your heels. I'll turn to the side to show you. Eight, seven, really get into your calf muscles. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, stay raised, calf raises. Just lift your heels up off the mat. Eight, seven, bring your hands to prayer for balance challenge. They can come to your hips as well or out to a T, whatever feels good today. Five, four, three, two, last one, lower your heels down. Give your legs a good little shake. We'll do a quick stretch here. We're getting back on the mat to finish out with some booty and core. Take your right ankle with your right hand. Feel free to find a place to help you balance. Draw your knee down towards your other knee. Quad parallel to your other quad, your other leg. Hips parallel to each other, to the mat. Release it out. Switch legs. Left hand grabs your left foot. Pull your knee closer to your standing knee. Hips parallel to the mat. Exhale, release. Beautiful work. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, fold your body over, slight bend in your knees, walk your hands out into your plank position, then come down to your knees and meet me in all fours. We're gonna get into a booty. All right. Cool. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. From here, send your right leg back. Bring it down to meet your other knee and then send it nice and long behind you. Keep your toes pointed. 10 nine, eight, your hips are parallel to the ground. So keep them flat. Five, slight bend in your elbows. Four, three, two, one, hold it out, lift up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop your toes down to meet the mat and then reach them back up. Squeeze your glutes to raise. 10, nine, a bigger motion this time. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Zip your belly button towards your spine. Keep your neck long. Last two, last one. Hold your toes pointed, extend your leg out long. Bend your knee in towards your nose. And this time, hold that 90 degree shape and send it up right behind you. Hold that 90 degree tabletop position. 
Eight, keep your toes pointed. Seven, pointing them up towards the sky. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it up, pulls up, up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your leg up, flex your foot. Same thing. Pulse up, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Squeeze your heel a little closer to your glutes. Just squeeze. Imagine there's a ball between your hamstring and your calf, and you're pressing in on that ball. Press in, in, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it together. Pulse up, squeeze in. Pulse up, squeeze in. Eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four. My booty's gonna feel this tomorrow. Last two, last one. Drop your knee down. Oh my goodness. Open your knees wider than your hips. Let's stretch it out. Reach your arms forward. Take a child's pose. Give your body a little rest before getting into the other side. In through your nose. Exhale, let it go. One more time. In through your nose. You can rock your hips side to side to really get a good stretch in that right glute. Exhale, rise on up. And meet me back in all fours. From here, hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Send your left leg back. Knee in towards your nose and then send it back. Eight. Seven, slight bend in your elbows. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it out. Pulse up. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Tiny lift with that back leg. Toes pointed. Three, two, one. Toes come down toward the mat and lift them up as high as you can. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze your glutes with every raise. Eight, seven, six, five. Hips are parallel to the mat. We don't want them opening up at all. Keep them nice and flat. Three, two, one, bend your knee in towards your nose and extend it to 90. Toes pointed, knee in towards your nose and hold that bent shape, send it back up. Same thing we did on the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, neck long, three, shoulders out of your ears. Two, one, hold it up, lift up, up, eight, seven, Five, squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one, flex your foot, same thing. Pulse up, lift up, stamp the ceiling with the bottom of your foot. Make that, imagine you're stamping it there. Imagine you're making a footprint on the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Curl it in, curl your heel in towards your glutes. Curl, curl, you'll feel this in your hamstrings. Eight, seven, imagine there's a ball. Five, four, three, two, let's put it together. Pulse up, squeeze in, pulse up, squeeze in. Eight, seven, six, slight bend in your elbows. Hold that form. We're so close. This is where we finish our glute work today. And then we're doing core and we're stretching it out. For five, four, three, two last one squeeze it in release it down Woo. open your knees wider than your hips send your hips back reach your arms forward <sighs> breathe give your hips a little wiggle reach your arms forward let your body to rest Exhale, roll your body up and come and meet me on your feet. So swing your legs around.
Feet are flat on the mat. Nice big Whew. inhale through your nose, roll your shoulders back and down. Your feet are parallel, hip width apart. They are a foot's distance from your glutes. Roll your shoulders back and down. As you exhale, round your spine out and bring your knees up to tabletop. From here, hands come to prayer as you lower your right leg and then your left leg. Option to bring your arms out, but keeping your torso nice and upright with every lower and lift. We're here for five, four, three, two, last one. Hold that bow position and lower both legs down. So keeping that rounded torso, bring your hands to prayer. Twist over and back center. Twist over to the right and back center. Use your obliques to drive this movement as you twist, come back center. Eight, seven, six, five. Twist it over, four, three, two one come back center curl up just a little curl up just a little holding center this whole time eight seven option to lift your toes up off the ground keep your heels dug into your mat keep them down for four three two last one come back down Rotate to the left, rotate, rotate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back center, place your feet flat on the ground. Roll your body up, bring your hands back under your knees and roll your shoulders back and down to give your upper body a little break. As you exhale, extend your legs out long in front of you. Reach your arms forward and roll your body down. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Extend your arms out long to the top of the mat. Toes out to the bottom. Send energy out your fingertips, energy out your toes. Create space. Take up that space and make yourself as big as possible. Drive your knees in towards your chest and rock side to side. Bring your hands up to your head, elbows out wide, knees come to 90. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. From here, lower your legs down or lower your right leg down, holding that 90 degree shape, and then lower your left leg down. 10, 9, Eight, keep that 90 degree shape the whole time. Drive your, your belly button closer to your spine and drive your spine down toward the mat. Keeping your back as flat as you can, keeping the focus on your core, focus on your legs for five or four, excuse me, three, two, last one, hold it up, crunch up and up. Lift your head, neck and shoulders up a little bit more. Tiny little lift, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, keep your head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Rotate over to the right. Crunch up toward the right. Option, reach your right arm or your left arm past your right space or your right leg, excuse me, and reach your right arm forward like you're grabbing something. You're reaching for something on the right to help turn your obliques, help turn your torso. Five, four, three, Two, one, bring your hand back up to your head, rotate back to center. Let your head, neck, and shoulders rest on the ground. Knees come into your chest. Little reset here. You can rock side to side to massage out your lower back. And then bring your head to your hands, elbows out wide, knees come back up to 90. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Lift up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, rotate over to the left, reach your right arm past your left leg. Reach up, curl to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back center. Let your head, neck, and shoulders rest on the ground. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a little hug. Start to feel that connection back into your body here. Take a moment before we finish out core and finish out class. Extend your arms out to your sides. Plant them underneath your hips. Extend your legs up long to the sky. Lower your legs about an inch about a, an inch above the mat, then raise them back up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, use your core to lift your legs. Two, last one, hold it low, flutter kicks here. Keep your toes pointed, tiny little flutter kick. Try and drive your lower back into the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift your legs all the way to the sky, flex your feet. Rotate one, your right leg or your left leg down, and then your right leg, like you're running in the sky. As your leg comes back towards your head it bends in keeping your feet flexed rotating out for six five four three two last one reverse it ten running backwards seven six five four Three, two, one. Drive your knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees in. Nicely done today. Give yourself some space. Take this time for yourself to feel accomplished. You just finished the working sections of class. So take this moment to sit with that. Hug your knees into your chest. When you're ready, let your feet fall to the ground. Let your knees rotate to one side and push your body up to meet me in your downward dog. Hands come to the mat, send your hips up high and start to pedal out your feet slowly. Giving your calves a good stretch after all the movement we've done today. Come back to center, send your right leg up to the sky. As you move, your, as your knee comes in towards your nose, plant your, hand, your foot between your hands to a nice runner's lunge. Reach your right arm up, same arm as leg, and take your gaze with your right arm. So creating the world's greatest stretch. Twisting your spine, opening up your chest to the right. Stack your knee over your ankle and reach. Exhale, come back down. Swing your right hand down, drop your back knee. Lift up to stretch your hips. Exhale, fold over, straighten out your front leg, heel down, toe up. Fold over to get your hamstrings feeling good. Press back into your front leg, tuck your back toe, hands are on the mat, send your right leg back up or back to meet your left leg and send your hips back up to a downward dog. Send your right leg back up one more time. Knee in towards your nose and move through your pigeon pose on your right side, stretching out your glutes. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold on over. Let your forehead rest in your hands or on your hands and open up your hips, open up your glutes. This is time for recovery. You just got spicy and now it's time to get grounded.
connect back to your body. How's it feeling? What's it telling you? Exhale, press your body back up. Send your front leg back. Hips go high. Left leg goes to the sky this time. Reach your, no your knee towards your nose. Place your, hand, your foot between your hands and reach your left arm up toward the sky. Take your gaze with your left hand. Back your knee over your ankle, reach your arm up. Exhale, come down, drop your back knee, sit up tall. Open up your hip. Exhale, fold, for fold forward, stretch out your front leg, heel down, toe up. Press your weight back in your front leg, send your front leg back, reach your other foot. And hips go high, send your left leg up to the sky, move through your pigeon pose on your left side. Open up your glutes. Fold over, elbows wide, forward rest on your hands, start to relax your hips, release any tension there. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, let it go. On your next exhale, when you're ready, rotate over onto your seat bones and meet me in a nice, comfortable seated position. Close your eyes as you take your arms up and breathe in through your nose. Palms meet at the top, exhale. Bring your hands down to heart center. Start to come back into your breath. Focus on how the air is moving in through your nose, all the way into your lungs, filling your lungs up and releasing out your mouth. Breathe, focus on your breath. Bring your hands over your heart and hold your heart. The card that was drawn was the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. This card of awakening and energetic upgrades. This is a card of awakening and energetic upgrades. Perhaps you're going through a period of spontaneous awakening, receiving visions and having experiences that are out of the ordinary. In the West, little is known about the process of spontaneous awakening, and it can, get, it can feel very scary when we're going through it alone. Elsewhere, they can be seen as auspicious experiences with those going through them being treated with tender care. The blue beings are thought to be activating beings with great potential for healing and upgrading our cellular structures. They appear in moments of extreme awakening, activating a physical Kundalini awakening and deeper cellular and DNA healing. Many people glamorize the awakening process. However, in reality, it's much messier and more difficult than most of us believe. We must first let go of what we think we know and how we make sense of the world. This isn't easy. The awakening process, even when it's spontaneous, takes a considerable amount of time to integrate and awakening without integration can leave us feeling very ungrounded. If you're in the midst of an awakening, the process never ends. 
Treat this time as deeply sacred and give yourself ample space to ground and integrate the extreme changes we're going through. Starseed activation. Place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. So place your hand over your heart and whisper to yourself, I allow myself to surrender to the awakening process that's right for me. I take things slowly and integrate my experience each and every day. Take a moment with yourself, with this new information, with this card. Think of what parts of it resonate with you, maybe what parts don't. But let go of any judgment, anything that might feel like resistance to receiving what this card has to offer. Because these cards mean whatever they mean to you. These cards were drawn for a reason. And they don't have to be life changing. The purpose is for you to take what you want from them and make them what you will. How you interpret your awakening. We'll take a breath together. In through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Take time the rest of today to ruminate on that card, ruminate on the information that was given to you through that card, whether it feels true or not. Keep it in the back of your mind. As you go through the rest of your day, come back to this space, this space of calm, this space of breath and life, of movement, of safety. and allow yourself to just be. Thank you so much for joining me today, for being on the mat. As always, it is such a pleasure and such an honor. Tomorrow morning, we have a 30-minute hit if you'd like to join, and I'll see you there. <laughs>